Why, hello. Welcome to the January SecDSM. Uh, wanted, to, wanted to welcome everyone here tonight. Uh, we've got a great lineup of, uh, of speakers tonight. Uh, just want to remind everybody, if you just wandered in off the street, the third Thursday of every month is SecDSM. We invite all your friends uh, and colleagues to come and uh, hear lots of good content with us. We're a, uh, uh, our mission is to provide a vendor-neutral forum for the expansion and dissemination of industry knowledge to the extent the culture of security awareness and enables members to make informed and educated security decisions. That's us. Uh, on our agenda tonight, this is what we call the SecDSM 101, where I'm just kind of introducing what's going on tonight. Uh, and then we'll kick it off with a couple of really great speakers. Uh, so uh, at 6.30, uh, we've got Jeremiah Sasida. Is, is that, I apologize if I butchered your name. Uh, but he's giving a talk on, on uh, uh, securing uh, large legacy software. And then uh, Mr. Nate Subra is giving a talk on honeypots. Um, there will be a uh, CTF tonight, and we'll announce CTF winners if someone has solved it by the end of the evening. Uh, and then after, at 9 o'clock, actually 9.01, uh, if anybody's still around and you want to go hang out, I think uh, the gas lamp just a block away over here is, uh, is anticipating anybody that wants to hang out after SecDSM. We can go over there and hang out. Uh, disclaimer, this is a PG-13 environment, so that means that we get to use exactly, what is it, one F-bomb? Is that right, James? So one F-bomb, so use it wisely. Uh, <laughs> we, we don't consor uh, condone any sort of illegal activity, um, so don't. Don't uh, don't do things that uh, that would get you in trouble. In fact, we uh, we uh, engage law enforcement and we actually encourage law for enforcement to attend. So if you do something illegal, um, prepare to probably get arrested. Um, our code of conduct, uh, the mission of SecDSM, we can't uh, we can't achieve what we're doing uh, in and have any sort of harassment tolerated whatsoever. So as a lot of other organizations and groups have put together uh, a code of conduct. We wanted to make sure that 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 uh, everyone here is aware that we we here uh, we do not uh, tolerate harassment of any uh, of any sort. And if you have uh, any kind of an issue arise, feel free to uh, approach any of the board members, people like in SecDSM shirts, or or uh, send an email to admins at secdsm.org or or on the via their Slack channel to any of the admins on there. Um, also, this is an important aspect that I hold near and dear. We here we we like to challenge ideas, not people. So you know, you know, everybody's got a different approach and a different way of approaching a problem. And and remember, if you don't agree with the person next to you or the person you're in conversation with, don't uh, challenge the person. Challenge the idea. And and let's you know you know kind of divorce the two so that uh, that we all know that we're all on the same channel uh, on the same page trying to make. Uh, make ourselves and each other better and more secure. Uh, stole that directly from SecKC. House rules, uh, clean up at your dishes, put them in the kitchen when you're done. Uh, don't loiter too much in the kitchen. Like, you know, just get in and get out. Um, stay, stay in the linoleum area. So uh, Pillar Technologies uh, allows us to use this space, and they've got, you know, certain areas here that it's really for their employees, and we ask that you stay um, stay at this end uh, of the of the uh, of the building, uh, in front of where they've got it blocked off. Don't go in the freezer; like there's nothing in there for you. Just stay out. Uh, obey all instructions from James Stumi. James, are you here? You want to raise your hand? Oh, it's AJ tonight. Okay. Well, uh, at any rate, if someone says that they're from Pillar and they have some instructions for you, please obey their instructions and be excellent to each other. Right. Uh, also, just kind of a technical note, when we have our main talks, the, this, this wall will close. And so if you want to definitely be able to hear the talk, uh, go ahead and take seats in this room. And then outside this room, you can talk and play CTFs. And, and we try to keep it like that. You should be able to hear the talk anywhere. But definitely, like, we'll close off the room here so that uh, any noise will hopefully, you know, won't distract the speaker. Um, transparency report, the space in the beer is provided by Pillar Technologies, now part of Accenture Industry X uh, And our, we have our sponsor tonight is the Des Moines chapter of the ISSA. So we, we, uh, we uh, thank all of our, uh, everyone that ma makes uh, SecDSM possible. That's been a, a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful partnership with all of our, with all of our sponsors. Uh, financial transparency report is, uh, 
Mr. T. Kip in the house, would you like to uh, update us on the, where we're at from a financial standpoint? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Um, so being the start of a new year, we kind of got a summary of last year. Uh, so financially, last year was a good year for SecDSM. We ended up 3458 in cash flow, so profit for the year on our donations and our merch sales, which is great. Uh, we did have $9,757 of expenses, which I thought was really interesting as I pulled the numbers last night. The checking account balance is at $69.7902. Um, between this meeting and the last meeting, we had two thirty one seventy eight go out for pizza for the last meeting. We paid for a bunch of merch that was three twenty seven nineteen, so that was cash out the door, and we took in three thirty nine oh four between merch sales and some few more donations. So once again, thanks to our sponsors, and here's Tom. Thanks, Mr. T. Kip. <coughs> oh, okay, so uh, we have a little mini CTF, like a little capture the flag challenge that that. Uh, uh, Mr. Drehos actually this week has uh, put together. Yeah, so anybody that you want to fire up your browser, go to miniectf.sectsm.org slash January underscore again. There'll be a challenge there. So if you uh, solve the challenge, you're first to solve the challenge tonight, you win a prize. Um, I think uh, the prize is, uh, is a JetBrain certificate again? Or no? Something different. Something amazing, I'm sure. It's, it'll be good. So uh, go ahead and, and uh, so if if uh, if while you know yeah I do what is it hacker, hacker boxes so there is a bunch of hacker boxes up for grab for tonight's CTF winner so if that's not motivation enough I don't know what is three hundred dollars worth of hacker boxes I mean can I use can I use our one f bomb because I think that's fucking fantastic. Sorry, sorry to the speakers that wanted to use the F-bomb. I've already blown it. So at any rate, uh, play the CTF if you brought a laptop. O or try it on your phone. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. We also wanted this, uh, to uh, thank uh, the SecDSM live streaming uh, sponsors, um, Principal Dwala and Business Over. Uh, tr total transparency, I, I work for Business Over. But uh, the, these three organizations have uh, helped funded all, all the equipment that we've got in order to be able to record and stream these online. So if you're not able to be here on a night, you can still uh, uh, consume much of our content as long as the speaker is, is uh, been, been uh, allowing us to, to stream their content and, and, and share it for distribution later. Um, also, Slack. Uh, SecDSM is uh, the third Thursday every month, but the conversation continues on all month long. So I recommend if you haven't gotten on our Slack channel, go to secdsm.org, scroll down to the bottom, and uh, sign up for Slack. Uh, this is it's an online uh, kind of uh, collaboration and communication platform. Um, and we just hit our 500th member today. So there's literally hundreds of you guys out there that you can interact with and share ideas. And there's tons of different channels out there, everything from like what's going on from a malware perspective in somebody's network uh, to, to, uh, uh, to, to uh, uh, hobbies and, and, and other things that, 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 that people in our community are interested in. So come join our Slack. Um, also, we wanted to, to talk a, a little bit about since more uh, conference, it's the kind of the start of a conference season here pretty soon. We have a scholarship program. So uh, a lot of times when we go to uh, conferences, they all have competitions, and if those competitions, you win their competitions, they'll give you a black badge, which will get you a free entry into their conference for life. Well, SecDSM, we go and play as a team, and anytime we play as a team uh, and win a black badge, we use that to send other people to the conference that wouldn't otherwise be able to attend, either for financial reasons or, or otherwise. And so we've won a few of these. So we've, we've won, so we've got you know, uh, and, uh, and if you go to sectdsm.org slash scholarship, you'll see all the conferences that we've got free entry for, like Circle City Con, I think we've got three black badges, right? DEF CON, we've got a black badge. Wild West Hack and Fest, I think we've got s like a whole bunch now, because this year they gave everyone on the team a black badge, plus we have one from last year. Thought Con, we've got a gold badge, which is the equivalent of their, their black badge, uh, GERCON. But at any rate, if you're interested in going to a conference, you've never been, you want to go, and you don't think you can afford it, Try our scholarship program. Uh, maybe we can help you out get there. Uh, hobbies on the Slack. Uh, Mr. Beal, you want to come up and talk about hobbies and news?
Thanks, Don. How's everybody doing? Good, I hope. We actually have audio this month, so you can actually hear me. Um, let's see, movies. Uh, I just threw a couple movies out there. Uh, we haven't done this in a while, but it's actually kind of fun if we get together in the Hobbies channel or just the general channel. If anybody wants to go to one of these movies, we'll make a, make a group. We'll probably go to uh, Flicks and order up a bunch of seats, and then we can sit there and have beers and food and everything while we watch a movie. So those are the three. And then if anybody's got any other fun suggestions of things that they want to do, We'll uh, do that type of thing, so just let me know in the channel, main channel, hobbies channel, that kind of thing. All right, and then quickly to the news. Uh, first slide here has three stories on it that are real quick. Uh, Brian Krebs just had a story out about um, the kid that just got busted for stealing a bunch of cryptocurrency through sim jacking. Uh, it's actually a good story and a good detailed review of that, so go check that one out. Uh, and then the other two funny ones real quick, a uh, unidentified so far Hacker actually went into the Queensland uh, early warning system and sent out spam messages across EMS. And uh, so that would be a tie-in to like when the guy set off the tornado sirens in Austin or San Antonio or wherever that was in Texas. And then the third quick one was just there's a uh, Chromecast hacker out there that was sending out messages in support of PewDiePie who decided once he found out the FBI was t taking after him to uh, quit doing that so he didn't get arrested for it. Uh, and then second story for the night, the EU actually opened up a uh, open source project list. Uh, there's some out there, I believe, on HackerOne. There's some on BugCrowd. Uh, the numbers are actually quite large. So it's not only supporting open source, but uh, it's that the EU is using. And so go out there and check that out if you're looking for a pile of cash. Uh, next one, the U.S. government is actually leaving its sites open uh, due to the government shutdown. So now that we're in day 26 or 27 of the government shutdown, uh, they're letting TLS certificates expire. Uh, funny enough, this came up at work because of the NIST documentation. The NIST site's actually been down since day one. So as we all know, that's how the internet works. Uh, the first day that things are uh, shut down, they're not funded because we all pay for our websites, you know, one day at a time, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I found that hilarious. Uh, and then uh, U.S. carriers in another, uh, no one saw this coming, is turning around and selling customer location data. So AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint so far, and uh, you know Verizon, who we would think would be the worst offender of this, and probably is, has not agreed to do so yet. But they're actually still actively collecting customer data and selling that customer data all over the internet. Uh, the interesting part of this story, a uh, researcher actually hired a... Uh, bounty hunter to track him down, gave the guy 300 bucks, and I think it took the guy 45 minutes to track uh, the phone that the phone number he gave him with GPS down to a couple block radius. So your data is out there uh, to join in with Equifax. So, you know, if you want your social security number, your cell phone, you know who to call. Uh, and then the last story of the night, there's zero day vulnerabilities out in smart buildings. So as we are all aware of, uh, the pool on the roof sprung a leak. And I had to put this in here just specifically to use this GIF. Um, but a team of research has actually discovered some zero-day vulnerabilities in some building automation systems and is actually getting attacked out there. And there's some research out there for that. So that is the quick news in five minutes. And then we like to open it up for jobs every month. So if anybody's looking for a job, wants to put themselves out, or if you have jobs on offer, it's your chance to come up and offer them to the room. Anyone? You got to come up and... Say who you are and where you work for and what the job is and some description if it's, you know, noob friendly or if you want someone experience, that type of thing. Hi, my name is Ross Hendrickson. I work for a company in Ames called Vertex. We're relatively new. We've been pretty stealth. We're like a startup. Uh, we're doing, there's a bunch of people that we used to be at Workiva that are there and we're kind of across the street from them. We're looking for kind of a director of information security, someone who's familiar with compliance issues. We like SOC 2 type 2, HIPAA. Well, not HIPAA. We're not doing HIPAA. Never mind. Sorry. Like FedRAMP type stuff, that, those kinds of things. So if anyone's interested in that kind of role, it's kind of across the board. We need nuts and bolts, but we also need experience with those compliance issues. So that's it. Anyone else? Here we go. Hey, guys. I'm Tom Peterson here at Pillar. Um, we're always looking for experienced software engineers or uh, maybe if you're not so experienced, somebody that's really uh, interested in learning and pick up uh, different languages very quickly. So um, we'll be hiring several software engineers for the next several months. Wonderful. 
Yep, Matthew White. Uh, FC Stone will be looking for a uh, software engineer, so software development lifecycle engineer, basically building the program ground ups uh, anywhere from static code, dynamic code, and just building your own program. So being empowered and enabled. And then we also have a junior mid-level uh, analyst uh, position available as well. So hit me up if you're interested. This is not about jobs. It's about dirty plates, dirty cups. Put them on the black card if you can by the pizza that help us out a lot. Just wanted to break in and ask for your help with dirties. Putting them on the cart, please, not on top of the dishwasher or that area. Thanks. Anybody else? Here we go. Uh, hi, I'm Isaac. I'm looking for a junior position on any security team. I'm currently a student at DMAC pursuing a degree in cybersecurity. I see this as me finally breaking into a career that I'm very, very interested in. Uh, I'm interested in red team, offensive security, and writing my own programs because I find that interesting. Uh, I'll, I, uh, I have class, but I have many hours open during the day, so if you would like to discuss it, I'll be around here basically all night, and thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, man. Anybody else? Going once, going twice? All right. I'm going to bring Tom up here. I'm all done. Thanks, guys. All right. So I think, uh, I think uh, we're about ready uh, to... Oh, uh, we're about ready to take a quick break. Um, we covered the news. I think we'll take about nine minutes, nine minutes, and at 6.30, we'll have uh, Jeremiah come up and give his talk on using sy symmetries to secure large legacy software. So uh, the pizzas are here, so if you haven't grabbed a bite to eat, go run out, get yourself a pizza, maybe, maybe a drink. And, the, oh, and then also, quick question, who tonight, this is your first time at SecDSM, raise your hand. Yes, I love this. We have stickers for you. Right out here by, uh, by Bob, and, Bob and Steve, uh, there's, there's SecDSM stickers. Feel free to grab a sticker for yourself. Put it on your laptop or wherever you want to put it. But, uh, yeah, it's our gift to you for uh, your first night here tonight. So, It's like a gold star. I mean, it's got the tracker in it, so then we can follow you around. So go ahead and put it on your most prized possession and, uh, yeah, get yourself a sticker. Thanks. See you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> 